Hi guys, welcome back to the Casual Watch Review channel. This week we have a very special British brand and one that I have been looking forward to reviewing for a very long time. If you caught the live stream where we interviewed Paul, who is one of the co-founders of Fairer Watches, you'll know that ever since then I've been trying to get my hands on one of their watches for review and they very kindly loaned me one so I could review it for you here. This is the Fairer Jackson chronograph watch and it's a very special watch i am interested to see what your opinions are in the comments section down below as we review this let's flip the camera around and dive straight into the review here we have the absolutely stunning chrono classic jackson from Farah. this is a bicompax chronograph powered by the dubuis de praz movement which we'll talk a little bit more about later but look at that blue on the dial it has this cross hatch pattern on the dial which looks awesome in the light these chrono classics are olympic themed or certainly this one is and this one is called the jackson named after arnold jackson who took a gold medal in the 1500 meters at the 1912 stockholm olympics aged just 21. the race became known as the greatest race ever and jackson broke the record that year so this watch's namesake is a famous olympian let's look at the measurements before we kick off so the watch is a 39 millimeter case just over 46 mil from lug to lug a lug width of 20 mil and then a thickness of 13.7 i measured it at and that's because it's housing this dupuis de praz movement and look how amazing that looks through that sapphire case back they have a custom fairer rotor this is absolutely a spectacular movement to look through I've never reviewed a watch with this Dupuis de Praz movement in it before, but I have reviewed other watches that have had components from Dupuis de Praz. I believe the Speedmaster Reduced had a Dupuis de Praz movement on top of it. While we're at the back here, we can see this gorgeous leather strap that it comes with, nice and thick, very comfortable to wear, nice thick leather with a signed fairer buckle as well. They've done they've done an incredible job at this strap. I was so impressed with this watch when I took it out of its packaging. I'd seen pictures online and we've interviewed Paul, who's one of the owners on the live stream before, talking about the brand. I wasn't sure what to expect. I mean, Fair is known for their bold use of colour and their bold designs. And this watch, I think, is it, it shows even when they do more main mainstream is probably not the right word but even when they do more conventional colors like blue they've really taken it to the next level not only do we have blue on the dial but there's different shades of blue as well so we have that light blue almost tiffany blue second hand and then the chronograph hand the 30 minute chronograph also has the blue on it and then we have a, a darker blue that almost matches the dial on this 60 second counter there as well on the continuous 60 seconds even the date window which is nicely housed has a blue backing on it and i think the dial the round the date window we can see has a white surround it almost looks like the dial is sandwiched with white in between and they've cut into it i'm sure that's just an effect i think they've actually applied this surround onto the date to give that effect but it really makes the date stand out and i love the date at a six o'clock position like it is on here even the tachymeter has a flash of that lighter blue to tie the design in together. And we have that cross hatch pattern on the dial. I'm so impressed with this. The, the design is, is simple, yet executed perfectly. And I've said this before about another British brand, Christopher Ward. Very impressed with this. We have the Fairer logo printed there and their applied arrow logo really plays with the light, the applied indices as well. From the front of it, we have a brushed, slightly industrial, but also elegant looking case with the polished buttons here for the chronograph and the slightly oversized crown with the inset bronze Vera logo. So that will patina nicely over time. But when we go to the side, beautiful polishing and then the almost sandblasted uh, section there that's been cut out into the case gives the watch really nice sporty look and feel and then going on to the back instead of a screwing case back we have well i suppose it is technically screwing but it, it has screws rather than the entire case revolving crown isn't screw down very easy to grip has a lovely grip to it the watch wears very well it's slightly 
On paper, again, this is slightly smaller than what I would go for. This is the 39 millimeter case, but because it's quite tall, it wears very well, even on my 7.2 inch wrist here. I think it actually is a good size. I know a few people, when I put it out onto our casual watch talk group, were concerned that it might be a bit too small for them. But that's, I guess that's one of the problems with buying online is you're not quite sure of the size, but I was impressed with the, with the comfort size of this it's probably on the threshold of size that i would wear that i don't normally like 40 or 41 mil but with the the wrist presence of this and the fact that it's so tall does span my wrist very well a couple of interesting things about the dupuis de praz movement it's a 59 jewel movement it has gorgeous blued screws on it and an approximate power reserve of 43 hours and this is the first dupuis de praz completely dupuis de praz movement watch that i've personally reviewed on the channel and i've got to say i'm very impressed the Fera is a british owned and run brand but the watches are made in switzerland very similar to christopher ward i'd say the level of finishing on here is on par with a much more expensive watch these retail for around 2395 dollars and i would say this is well on par with some of the IWCs that I've seen on the channel. Breitling, quite a few other of those highly finished luxury watches that are in the five to $7,000 range. I would say this is well on par, the fit and finish here of this watch. Uh, you, I guess you really have to see one of these in person, but uh, I have to say I'm very impressed with this. Unfortunately, this is a press loaner, so I don't get to add this to my personal collection, but I will certainly be keeping an eye on Fair in future. I, I, I really have my eye on one of their monitors pusher chronographs that they do they've also done some nice quartz chronographs as well they're really known for their colors so if you're interested in finding a distinctive looking watch that is by no means a homage to anything if they ever do a homage it's usually to something that's not a watch if you're interested in really adventurous colors uh, supporting a british brand and getting a, a lot of watch for your money then i would certainly check out fairer but more importantly let me know what you think in the comments section down below and i'll see you next time on casual watch reviews